Good morning, everybody. Right. And I have already messed up, but here we go. Sorry, I'm just posting the link to uh, Twitter. Because... I made a mistake again. Because I put the wrong link up. Right. Right. Hello, Hen. Hello, Mandy. Your links are in your Twitters. But I'm glad you're here. Hello, Fanta. Hi, good morning. Good morning. You sound far too awake. <laughs> How long have you been awake? Um, I think I got up at seven o'clock for some un un unearthly reason. <laughs> good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Do you sound far too awake, Fenton? Why do you sound far too awake? <laughs> I just woke up like this. Can't be doing with all these bright-eyed bushy tails on a flipping Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy, my body's here. I'm just waiting for my brain to fire up. <laughs> yeah, I know that one. But Hello. it did give me a chance to uh, put some photographs together. That's cool. Yay! Uh, uh, as it's Remembrance Sunday in the yes. UK, uh, I'm going to start off the stream with some military photographs, from some family yeah. military photographs. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so, we will... Ooh, that's weird. So we will do... No, we will do that one. And I will do that. And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm talking my way through this. So if anybody's learning, oh. don't copy me. <laughs> so. Yeah, don't copy her. Although... At least you had it on laptop. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, is that my proper Facebook or is that my? I oh, know. I can't see. I don't oh, know. I see the cars, the lights, the one oh, yeah. you put on Instagram. Yeah, I don't think that's the right one. So we'll go to there and we'll stop sharing because I don't know if I'm in the right Facebook folder. And I wasn't. Um, go to album. Go to pictures. Bear with me, everybody. Bear with me. So no I'm bearing. I'm bearing is the answer. <laughs> bearing. I'm bearing. Bear with. Bear with. Bear with. 
She's, she's thinking my faces, you know. You noticed? Did you notice yeah. that, Panta? Yeah. Faces. She keeps nicking my faces. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Lots of men. Right. Lots of men. And one of those young men is my son. Uh, I'm not going to point him out because he's in uniform. But... but is there a cadet in among them? Um, what do you mean? Is there a cadet? At the front. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ninth one back. Well, tenth one back if you can include that. The bit of a hat at the front. Oh, the little lady with the black beret on. Aye. Uh, no, that's not a cadet. Okay. That's I won't show. Little, that's a little lady with... Little lady. Um, but, yeah, that was his first remembrance parade. Oh, that's cool. And... No, it wasn't. It was his second. I'm telling lies. It was his second. Um, and he told me where he'd been and, and how it had went. And being the proud mum that I am, Julie went onto YouTube and some kind gentleman had been recording the whole procession. Mm -hmm. And I was very, very lucky because there is an awful lot of uh, soldiers on these parades mm -hmm. to be mm -hmm. able to spot my son. Yeah. So I took a screenshot. <laughs> And he's one of them among that flock of many. He is one of those among them flock of many. Um, that, that that picture is a little bit cropped. Aye. Because of the way it's on, on screen, StreamYard. But yes, that's that's my, my proud mum moment. Yeah, <laughs> so you should be. And how yeah. long has he been serving? He's been serving for 10 years now. Wow. Awesome. Well, awesome. Nine, nine years, because he's he went in at 17 and a half, and he's 27 at the end of the month. So, so and he's seen active duty? He has. Mm. So. Is he, is he making a career out of it? He is, yes. he's He's got all plans to um, go on up through the ranks. He's one of the youngest corporals, uh, sorry, one of the youngest Lance corporals. Um, and uh, he's now a corporal. Wow. 27. Uh, uh, there was a bit of a competition going because um, my dad made sergeant at 25. Uh, so he was quite young, but he had a very, very nice boss that pushed him and pushed him and pushed him. And when the opportunity arose, he was able to be promoted. So, talking about my dad, we will then go to... Where's my Facebook? Where's my Facebook? This one. Do you want to put it on full screen? No, not that bit. Full screen on Facebook. Uh, that's it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's always a good idea, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, were we allowed to know which one's your dad? This one's my dad. I don't know what I can't see no. your yeah, bottom, I can see you bottom right. Bottom right, no. okay. Bottom left knew, as you look at the screen. The one with okay, the glasses. I, I knew it wasn't the one at the uh, in the middle at the back. Might have been. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> that gentleman was my babysitter. Was he? That's cool. Oh, that's the one you were talking about. Yes. Mm. Cool. So that lets you know how old that photograph is. Yeah. 
Yeah. He was in uh, the tank regiment then, but he was. Um, Uh, going on up, he was training to be physical training instructor. So that was his one of his last pictures. I think that may be the last picture he, he took with that crew. So there, that's him with it. And the hats. The, uh, yeah, I look at soldiers with berries on now, and yeah. I look back at these and I go, "Were well, you using them to keep your ears warm or something?" <laughs> Because soldiers now shrink the berries to fit the heads, whereas back then they all seemed to have a big, big, big floppy bit over their ears, which is quite disconcerting. See this, this floppy, <laughs> and then there's this floppy, and then there's this floppy. It just doesn't look right when you see modern soldiers. So, any more questions at the moment, or shall we move on? Oh. I'm good. I'm good. You're good. I like it when you're good. <laughs> oh, we've lost a hen. I'm going to have to just pop out for a moment. Could you keep my stream going for a second? Sure. <laughs> no, I'll wait for hen to come back because you're on your own. That's okay. Who have I got to talk to, Mandy? Uh, yeah, Mandy's in the stream. Okay. It's just that my my little my little fur baby needs to go for a wee wee. Well, go ahead. I'll be all right. I'm gonna um, Mandy, if you're still with us, <laughs> I'm gonna try to find some pictures of my dad. In the military, and my grandfather on my mom's side. Um, he was in, my grandfather was in World War II, and he was a mechanic on the Flying Tiger airplane. Um, I don't know what you call it, a troop or what, but the Flying Tigers were part of the, the Air Force, and he was a mechanic oh fabulous yeah see it wasn't that long my dad he he didn't i don't think he saw any um battles active. or anything he just went to the army and active service thank you i can't think of the word yeah <laughs> But he's proud that he was there, and I'm proud of him. Well, without the mechanics, nothing would you know, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. People say, oh, he was just a mechanic, or he was just a cook. or it was, Well, no, because each person has a vital part with the trade that they choose. Yeah. My grandfather was the mechanic in um, World War Two. My dad went in um, out of high school and was there for three or four years. I have pictures of him when he came to visit me with both of his arms in casts. Ooh, I was wow. I was probably two or three and because he was doing the army tank training and the lid closed on his arms, broke them. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. I'll find them sometime and share them so, with you. Mandy's dad is ex-military. Oh. Um, he was a mechanic in World War Two. Oh, really? So we have we have connections. The world is really small. It is. What kind of mechanic, though? Do you know? Um. No, if you're just telling me a mechanic, give her a minute, she might respond. Because she's not awake yet. <laughs> Who is this? See, well, Sorry. Fanta's grandfather was in the tank regiment. Okay. No, as, no, as he in, was... Uh, 
No, my grandfather was a flying tiger. He worked oh. on planes. My apologies. My, yeah, no worries, no worries. My dad was in the army and was doing his training in the tanks, and the lid closed and broke his arms. I have pictures oh. of that. So my dad was tank. Fanta's dad was tank. And Mandy's dad was a mechanic. So there's there's three of us on this stream, and all straight away there's there's a a connection. And my dad was yeah. a potato peeler. <laughs> he was not a potato peeler. <laughs> I don't know what else he did. All I know is he peeled potatoes. He was a naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> well. I've put a picture up of my sister. Mm -hmm. um, you'll notice the big smiley face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm the lazy one of the family. There was no way I was getting up at... Um... Four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nope. no way. oh, my mistake. Mandy said, no, Queen Elizabeth was the mechanic. Yes, our Queen Elizabeth yeah, was, she was in the. She was oh, in wow. the. Yeah. She was yeah. in the um, women's royal army corps, which was the RAC. Um, which, incidentally, my grandmother will will miss my sister out for a moment. Sorry. Mm hmm. My uh... This is my great grandfather and yeah. my aunt and my auntie. Mm -hmm. No, my great auntie. So he was in World War One as a gunner in the army and he was in world war two in the raf as a balloon regiment i did not know the raf had a balloon regiment what's a balloon regiment i see in hot air balloons as in hot air balloons, they sent what? um, <laughs> yep, they sent hot air balloons up to um with a net between the balloons over um, Southampton and Plymouth to and dover to try and catch the planes or to cause the planes trouble mm. oh. so you'd have um what they call the big the big hot air balloons um the blimps the blimps, blimps. they'd have blimps go up and they'd have a net or a line with things hanging on them to hold mm -hmm. them down and it was to cause problems for the incoming jets the incoming planes oh. interesting so this lady this lady was in the atc which was the auxiliary territorial service i think i've got that right auxiliary territorial service yeah which was the women's branch of the British Army in uh, 1938. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that. To 1949. Mm -hmm. um, Sounds about right. And then it, it after that it merged into the RAC, but they were the predecessors. They were the first women's army. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure I had one. 
of my nun. Oh, where's that gone? It's not there. So I'm going to stop sharing the <coughs> screen. Stop screen. Wait till my can, back. I, can I share a couple of pictures? You can. Can okay. you do it from your end? Yeah. Fabulous. Oh, oh don't we just love corroborations? <laughs> <laughs> just got that. Okay. So this one is, I've shown TJ this already earlier on. Oh, let me let me reduce it down a little bit because you can't see the whole picture. Somewhere in among that that body of misfits is my father. I I think it may be this one over here because it looks like him. We um, can't see it here. You can't see me when we're pointing. Um, top left. I've you got... didn't share screen. There I've we got... go. You've got to share it, and then I've got to. They've got to share yeah, it. You've got to bring it up. Yeah, yeah. Top left. Okay. I think I believe this is my dad here, because it looks like him. And all I know that is that he spent most of his because it was um, he wasn't active in the service. It was you know that the you have to join the army, sort of thing, and he spent most of his time peeling potatoes because he was a naughty boy. National service. Yeah. National service. That's the one. National service. Hello, through the fog. <laughs> so that was my. That is pretty. I'm pretty sure that looks like my dad. I'm pretty sure that's my dad there. Um, I have no one to ask anymore, so I can't tell for definite. But I have another photo I'd like to share. This person isn't wearing uniform, but I'd like to tell a little story about him. He was. He was military. So, okay. let me um. Get that one back up. Extremely hard. Grab that. That one. That one. Okay. Do you want to bring it up? Can we see that? So that is actually my grandfather. Oh. That is my Dutch grandfather. And very dashing. He was very dashing. And um, he was part of the Dutch Navy. Um, and while his ship was docked somewhere in England... Uh, there was a case of scurvy, and um, he wasn't allowed back on the ship. And and as a as a result, he met my grandmother. <laughs> what a lovely romantic story! <laughs> but yeah, no. While he was while he wasn't able to go back on the ship because the people <laughs> on the ship were, were, were quarantined, they were quarantined because there was scurvy, and he wasn't on the ship when the outbreak happened. Um, he he met my grandmother. So if that hadn't happened, I wouldn't be here today. But I think this is his like national card to give him British citizenship or something, because the date on it is nineteen forty eight, which is after the war, and it says Metropolitan Police, and it's uh, some sort of a, you know, I, I guess identity card at the time. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Um. But yeah. But yeah, that was my my dashing grandfather. And then you look at my grandmother and you understand why we look a bit weird. Because, <laughs> 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 you know, because he was very dashing and she was rather... Uh, Homely? Homely. <laughs> <laughs> no. But yeah, no. Um, and my obviously my grandfather was I uh, was Dutch. My nan was Irish, but living in in London when they met. 
and I I am not one hundred percent sure, but I know when my eldest sister conceived, my dad was away, and I think that photo that we saw of my dad was before he found out that he was going to be a father. But my mum knew. <laughs> oh. I'm not hundred percent sure. I'd have to clarify that with someone, but I think he was because. Um, no, actually, no, no, it must have been before he met my mum, actually, because he was older than my mum. My mum was only 19, but he was older than my mum, so he probably, that was probably before he met my mum. But I know he was, he was away for a while, um, and my mum was literally about to give birth before he found out she was pregnant, which is fun. Not good for, not for, good for an Irish Catholic girl, I tell you. No, <laughs> not, not, definitely not back in the day. No, they got married after my sister was born. So that's how far gone she was when he found out she was pregnant. So How shocking young lady she was. What a shocking young lady. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, it ran in the family. I mean, my, my aunt was brought up by her grandparents because, you know. But she was the, she was the child of both my granddad and my gran. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. But she was brought up by the grandparents because, you know, she was born out of wedlock. Yeah. It wasn't done. Well, that, that's the way they did things back then, yeah. didn't it? They, uh... Right, so I'm going to yeah, remove they... yours one. Yeah, that's cool. And then I'm going to share. That's a lovely photo. So, this is my nan. Yeah, this is, very this is beautiful my, woman. My, this is her wedding day. Oh. Because she was a serving person, mm -hmm. she was allowed to wear her uniform, as yeah. soldiers do now. Yeah. Um, Granddad was in the Merchant Navy. Okay. And they didn't have a uniform <coughs> because the oh. merchants were basically volunteers. Oh. Later on, they got a uniform, but at the time, I think they had a uniform for ceremonials. But yeah. I don't think he did. Or they had to buy their own. So the merchant neighbours, they, they, they would have been the ones that took, like, supplies across, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. They were um do you... Grandad was not part of the D Day landings. No. But um if you remember they um commandeered or asked um, for volunteers. They commandeered for every boat available. Every boat, every single boat with an engine. Um and the flotilla of Everybody, uh, sh trawlers, fishing vessels, yep. uh, tankers, every civilian ship, boat you could possibly think of went across the channel. Yeah. Um, and, and a lot of those were um, merchant seamen. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of them were fishermen and, and, you know, have no military training whatsoever. But they carried troops. Yeah. Um, and, and items that were necessary. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, he was um, merchant and she was ATS. So that was mm. actually their wedding day. It's a beautiful oh. photo. Yeah. <clears throat> but it reminds you of like the, you know, a 1950s movie star. A pair of them do. Ooh. Yeah, I shall, I shall get on my Ouija board and let him know. But they do. <laughs> they've got that. They've got that look to them. You know, you see, like the old war films. They've got yeah. that. Look to them. They really do look like glamorous film stars. Unlike my dad, that looked like a muppet. <laughs> <laughs> I loved him to pieces, but you know. 
<laughs> there was a reason he was peeling potatoes the whole time he was in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right. Uh, where's your photograph, Mandy? Where's your photograph? Has she sent you one? Has she said she sent me one. Have you tried Twitter? I'm on Twitter. Have you tried Insta? She said she's going to send it on Twitter. Well, I've sent her the link properly now, so. Um. Where am I? What am I doing? I know. Oh, I didn't realise Caroline was here. Hello, Caroline. Yeah, she's been here for a few minutes. I know, but I didn't have the chat open. I had it on private chat. It's a photo of an article. Oh, I have a story, another story about my grandfather. Yeah, that's my father and my mother on a... Uh, Hi, Cherry. Hi, Cherry. On a staff night. Hey, Cherry. Night. That's his um, dress suit. You you um, resemble your mother. I do. <laughs> Look at that gorgeous smile. Mm. Those those were back in the days when you could smoke and inside I, and. I. It's not that long ago, you know. Uh, Seems like forever ago, but it's not that long ago. Doesn't it? When I was allowed to smoke as an adult indoors, and I mean in like pubs and bars and things. So, Terry, welcome. So, because it's Remembrance Day, we're looking at photos. Some military of family photos. That, that, military family photos. So, we, yeah, yeah when they have um, mess dues, which is Christmas parties and somebody being promoted or something, mm. he had to wear that uniform, which is a waist height jacket. And uh, fitted trousers with black trousers with a, a red line that goes all the way down. Looks very, very smart. Yeah, like, very smart. I don't think I've got one of him um, full full length. Hey, man. Man Mandy. Hello. Yeah. Do you, do you feel left out from the family? Why? Well, so... TJ is Auntie Pudding Pop. Fanta is sis, and I'm Mama. And you're just, just Mandy. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, some random. Do, do you not feel left out? <laughs> I'm just some random. Oh, I'm really to come over one day. <laughs> I just adopted you all. Okay. <laughs> 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 no, TJ, I sent you it. It's a it's a photo of an article, actually. You know, I I told you I don't have photos. I don't have anything from yeah from anywhere. But um, no, it's a photo of um, it's a London Gazette. Ah, right. Pull out. Uh, it's about my and um, it's got my granddad in it. Mandy's your cousin. Oh, Mandy's a cousin. There you go. Okay. Cousin <laughs> right. yeah. yeah, cousins. <laughs> oh, you know, growing up, I never had any cousins. 
<laughs> my dad's an only child, and my mum's brother never had any kids. Oh. Until we found my my mum's birth. My mum was adopted, and so we found her birth family. I've got thirteen got, now. Got, yeah, thirteen cousins. <laughs> <laughs> no. I've got so many cousins. My little brother said he was going to have to start checking IDs to make sure he <laughs> wouldn't date one of them. <laughs> oh, that's the same problem. Oh, sure, yeah. oh. <laughs> right. Yeah, you start in the last the last paragraph on the left hand side. It's only a small piece. Henry I Charles. Uh, you might have to blow it up a bit. I don't, I don't think anyone I can't else can see that. See it. <laughs> Uh, how do I blow it up a bit? Um, Go to the dot. Yeah. Do you yeah. If you open it in a new page, so open it. I'm trying to do it for her. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so do left click on the actual picture. Do you left click on the actual picture. Open in a new tab. Yeah. It will come up bigger anyway. Uh, right. You obviously, yeah, you have to obviously change what you're sharing, but. Oh. <sighs> Click stop sharing and then share again. I am getting better, I promise. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're doing yeah. absolutely fine. I only know what I'm doing because I've done it so often, often, too often. Hey, look, as I said, at least you know how to. There we go. At least you know how to um, work StreamYard on a laptop. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going to. Um, okay. Yeah, so it says that awarded the British Empire Medal, Civil Division. Now, my granddad never fought in the war. Um, okay. When he, when he was 15, he headed one of the old-fashioned footballs, which left him blind. Um, he did get some of his sight back, but he was wore really, really thick glasses, and so he was uh, not able to go and fight in the war. But he was working... Um, as you can see here, um, her hospital, he was a hospital porter. You mean you scroll down a bit, TJ? If you scroll down a little bit. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Shall I read it um, out? Yeah, you can do, yeah. So, Henry Charles Alf Alcorn, dispensary porter, London County Council Hospital Services, and then Victor George Grout, that was my General granddad. Porter, London County Council Hospital Service, and it's just listing all the different porters, isn't it? Yeah, and then it says, I knew, I knew, I knew which one was you, your <laughs> That's my granddad. A, yeah. Oh, a flying bomb exploded on a on a hospital, and a fire immediately mm -hmm. broke out. Townsend. And you have to go up to the top, yeah. Okay. Played a hose onto the burning roof of the dispensary under which he was obliged to stand close to many cylinders of gas and oxygen and bottles of ether. He was able thus to control the fire sufficiently at this point to enable grout and alchorn to remove 135 cylinders which were in em imminent danger of exploding. Al, John, Grout and Towson worked without res respite until the cylinders were removed and showed courage and determination throughout the whole incident. That's awesome. yeah, amazing. Well, and I didn't know that until my granddad's funeral. Oh. It's a really sad thing. So your granddad mm. was the hero. I never knew. I never knew. He was sat there and he was saying about his medals and I'm like, what was this thing talking about? I'm thinking they got the wrong bloke. And then my dad, we went back um, to the house after, you know, for the wake. And my my dad had um, 
laid out his medals. And I never knew. Never knew. Uh, well, a, a lot of people kept things to themselves. They didn't want to remember. Partly well, it because... wasn't that. It's because he couldn't fight in the war. He never felt like he could... Um, he never felt like cough. he deserved it. Yeah. <laughs> But he, he probably sound thousands and thousands of lives mm. by putting himself at risk to get them cylinders out. Yeah. Yeah. But he I mean, never my, saw it that way. No, it's... they didn't. My dad's dad was um, unfit for service, um, but he served in the ambulance <coughs> corps mm. as a porter. And he was driving... A ambulance all around Liverpool, which was one of the major cities that was bombed. Yeah, and he never saw himself as a soldier, as uh, mm -hmm. as anybody important. He just drove an ambulance. He just did what his job was because that's what his job was before the war. Yeah, started. Yeah, but he he was like, well, no, I just drove an ambulance. That was just my job. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they didn't see it as an important role. No. But if they didn't do that job, people wouldn't have got to hospital and wouldn't have survived. Exactly, exactly. It's, uh, you know, everybody has to play their part in some way, don't they? Uh, when you're in times like that. Yeah, everybody has yeah. the role to play. They fit into a cog. Everybody's a cog and it all fits in nicely. And it, well, not nicely under the circumstances, but it, you know, without that cog turning, the other cogs can't turn. Mm -hmm. Which is what I said to Fanta before. It, if, if mechanics, mm -hmm. without a mechanic, it, we, we wouldn't be doing anything. Without the cooks, we wouldn't be able to. Mm. Without the potato peelers. Just point. Yeah, exactly. Without yeah, the even the potato, potato peelers, then. <laughs> You have potatoes without the potatoes <laughs> in the army to go and fight on the front line. So there you go. See, everybody has a role. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to put another twist on your potato peeler. Mm -hmm. He was probably Jack the Lad and made everybody laugh. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. So he kept morale up. Absolutely. Yep. He, he, my dad was definitely a Jack the Lad. Uh -huh. He was, he was Mr. Mischief. So they, the Jack the Lads all played a, 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 a role at morale officers, you know. <laughs> yes. Like, I think that would have been me if I'd have joined up, do you know? <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Cert certainly would have been me. But no, my dad never grew out of the practical joking. Even when he weren't able to speak, he was practical joking. You know. Yeah. My dad's my my mine's just typical dad jokes that really aren't funny, but he thinks they're funny, but they're not. <laughs> yeah, they are. All dad jokes are funny. Oh my! When we went to my graduation, I warned my colleagues because there was um, four of us all graduated on the same day, and I'd warned my colleagues, and I was standing next to one of them, and I could hear my dad. And he, I, I can't even remember what he said. I mean, she just liked it. He did warn us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Are uh, uh, his jokes as bad as Emma's jokes? Yeah. Yeah, they're <laughs> terrible. Absolutely terrible. Poor Emma. Oh, we love her, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my son's just bought me a McDonald's breakfast. I can't let it go cold. Um, no, why no, not? Hey. How do you dare you not share? You can have the egg out of it. Oh, no, they bounce. <laughs> That's why it's not in it. That's why I've taken it out. <laughs> I, I know they bounce because I cooked one and bounced it on purpose. <laughs> you use it as a coaster for your drink. <laughs> <laughs> so we're moving on a little bit this is i'm going to see if i can enlarge this a little bit uh, that is i did a, a while ago i did a display and work um at the 
people I work with have, have got dementia. I think I know and this, what that is. This lady, um, those dungarees are 110 years old. That's a land girl, isn't it? That's a land girl. Mm. And those were her original dungarees. That's what that sign on there says. That's a, the original dungarees. And I went and bought um, an army shirt, an army tie, uh, a green cardi from somewhere, a scarf. And she actually showed me how to make the scarf on her head. And welly boots. And I bought a badge off eBay. And this was the... Because everybody thinks of the army and they always forget the land girls mm -hmm. played a massive role as well as everybody else did, did at the time. And in yeah. the background are her original photographs, which the family very kindly lent to me um, to do this display with. Mm. Which went down very well. Scared a few people. Why? <laughs> because... Um, it's as you see, it's in a window, oh. so people were doing a double take as they sort of passed the window, <laughs> and and some of the uh, clients, not having good vision, were saying good morning and <laughs> goodbye to this mannequin. <laughs> we should, I shouldn't laugh. I really shouldn't laugh, but <laughs> it, it was funny. <laughs> Can I just say, you can. Cherry, are you eating ice cream this time in the morning? She says, I want McDonald's breakfast, although I'm good with my Ben and Jerry's. And she okay. said, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to eat popcorn left over from last night. <laughs> well, we didn't have our movie night in the end, did we? So, yeah. Mm. Um, no. I, I'm going to dox myself on um, TJ stream, right? Although I've accidentally doxed myself on live stream a couple of times. But I live in a town called Milton Keynes. And part of Milton Keynes is a town called Bletchley. Yes. And um, uh -huh. anyone that knows Bletchley or knows the name Bletchley knows what it's famous for. Mm-hmm. Fanta, do you know what Bletchley is famous for? <laughs> no. Bletchley was the home of the Code Breakers. It's where they cracked the code of the Enigma machine. And Alan Turing. Alan Turing. Mm -hmm. And basically won the war. Yeah. Huh. I had no idea. And the building still stands now. All mm -hmm. several buildings still stand. It is a educational centre stroke museum. And um, my son actually volunteered there for a while. Um, but yeah, it's still, it's still there and you can still see. They've got an Enigma machine itself. But they've got the all the old computers. And it's where the first computer yes if you like yeah. was invented, which helped break the code of the uh of the um german german soldiers the german and that's how we knew where they were going and oh wow mm -hmm. and that computer was housed in was it an aircraft hangar? Or was it... It was actually spread across mm. the UK. Um, because although the the main part was Bletchley, mm. they had satellite uh, smaller areas. Mm -hmm. And there was one in Loughborough. Um, and I lived in the grounds of that one. I can't tell you where that one is because it's still a military site. Yeah. 
uh, but I lived on that site, and that housed the what. They all were all interconnected. There was like four or five, maybe six, dotted all around mm -hmm. the country, and they all worked together. But Bletchley was the the main yeah. area. And you had mm -hmm. a lot of the local women working in like it was like a call centre of the day, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Um, basically trying to decipher parts of parts of messages, and once they were able to decipher parts of messages, they would be able to crack the whole code. Using the computer, very, mm -hmm. very clever. So, if you what what's the film they made? What was it called? It was called Codebreaker, wasn't it? Um, what was his name? Cumberbunch. Yeah, he played Turing, didn't he? Yeah, there is a film which, yeah. Mm. It's the way they recruited people. They the put um, these crosswords in the newspaper, didn't they? The Intimidation Game. Yeah, no. Im oh, the imitate, Imitation Game. Imitation Game. No. The sad thing was, he was uh, prosecuted for being gay. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. Um, the Sherlock Holmes guy, yeah, that's the one. The Sherlock guy. <laughs> I'll say penguin. You can't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you that the crime, yeah. you? <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> penguin. What? <laughs> yeah, so it is. It says penguin, don't he? Yeah, yeah. Penguin. He penguin. did his whole um, like nature program. Obviously, about and he obviously contained penguins. <laughs> and he had to say penguin over and over again. He could say it properly, and everyone's like, "What is he saying?" <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, they ripped him about it on uh, the Graham Norton show. It was well funny. Um, you know when you're trying to find a picture of this piggy machine and it's all do this, do that, save this, save that. I want that the pig. computer. <laughs> oh, I just want a full. Right there we go. Um. God, it's hard work, this business, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this popcorn's gross. Is You're it? Is it going sour? It's li leaving a film on the roof of my mouth. Uh, so, there you go. That was a computer. That was part of a computer. Yeah. So, knowing you look at your phone <laughs> and you think, how many, like we were talking about this the other day, I said my phone had 8 gigs, it doesn't, it has 128 gigs of mm -hmm. memory on a chip and that is size that's what, 4 metres by a metre and a half uh, yeah, something like that mm -hmm. I just want to know how you got in Cherry's room Hey? <laughs> yeah. We think that's oh. what Cherry did. <laughs> <with> monitors. <laughs> so basically, they had to plug in all these different wires, all these little holes, you see, are different. Mm -hmm. um, they mm -hmm. plugged in different wires. It, it's almost like a, a smart abacus, wasn't it, really, if you think about it? <laughs> but, but that's exactly what a computer is. It's yeah. all not ones and zeros. Yeah. You've just got to get the ones and zeros in the right direction. Cherry's laughing at that's her that's her bedroom. Uh, <laughs> her room is a dungeon. dungeon. <laughs> it's not. It's a CCTV hub. 
<laughs> yeah. So yeah, there's um quite a few I've got to do my shopping this. Do you know what? One of the hardest things about being an adult is trying to under, trying to decide what we're going to have to eat every day. It is. It is difficult. <laughs> I, I feel for you. That's why I don't do it. <laughs> Especially when you've got three adults that have got completely different tastes. Well, yeah, if they're adults, they can cook their own. <laughs> Be saying my Ralph does all the cooking. That's what I get told. If you're not home, you know I'm not cooking for you. But then he ends up cooking for me anyway. I'm always home. I work from home, so <laughs> let Uber eat decide. <laughs> you know we've got to go butchers today. We only go once a month. Uh, you you've got to go up into. The other town, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. So, Fanta, so before we were so rudely interrupted you, you have another story about your... My grandfather. Uh, your grandfather. Oh, sorry. No worries. I know it was oh. me that interrupted. Um, Go on. Yeah, he... Uh, I think my uncle has the guitar that my grandfather took to World War II and it went all over with him and he played it and uh, one night his family was sitting around the radio and it was like a sort of a USO show kind of thing came on the radio and a man started playing guitar and singing and his sister realized it was him Oh, how awesome. Yeah, and that, amazing. That, yeah, she's like, that's D. That was his middle name. Oh, and so, dude. yeah. I'll bet you she was in tears when she recognized him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just thought that was a really neat story, and they still have the guitar, and it traveled all over the world. Well, it is a neat, mm -hmm. neat story because, it, you know, connections with anybody on the other side of the world back then was three weeks by letter. Mm. Yeah. And he had, you, you've seen Oh Brother, Where Art Thou, right? Uh, probably. I know the name with of With George it. Clooney. Oh, I don't think I have them. Um... Well, anyway, if you ever have or you ever do, they become this singing group called the Soggy Bottom Boys. <laughs> and they wear, like, those old, long, fake beards and stuff. And my grandfather was in a band like that, oh. where they look like hobos, kind of. Mm -hmm. And they played music. So, the picture that is now being shared on the screen is a picture of the house at Bletchley Park. And I thought Phantom might like to see it. Uh-huh. It's what? That's the house, the main house at Bletchley Park where the code bakers worked. I just thought oh. you might like to see it. I did a screenshot. <laughs> I thought you might have done it. <laughs> no. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, I thought you might like to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it still Wait, there? Yeah. Yeah. I'll take you. <laughs> What's on the roof? Oh, I, I can't see the picture that closely. Um, I think that, no, that's a building behind. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's, that's awesome. Um, 
That that could be Mellish Court, which is a block of flats. I won't talk to you about that block of flats. <laughs> <laughs> it's not not nice stories. <laughs> mm. Right. Let's just that say that anyone, anyone that's there don't like him there. <laughs> right, that was, that, that's Fletchley Park. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to share mm -hmm. the one that I know. Um, have we got it? Oh, I made uh, a big screen. Why is it not a big house? It's almost identical. You've opened the wrong tab. You've opened the wrong tab. I have, haven't I? Which one am I opening? I'm opening yeah. that one. Uh, it's hard work, this. <laughs> Stop screen. Share screen. Um, Carol, I've seen the film you were talking about, Fantasy. It's such a good film. Different. <laughs> oh yeah, it was really good. And Terry, I did read everything you said. I just didn't think it was worth repeating. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's yeah, beautiful. Another beautiful house. We have beautiful buildings in this country, don't we? Yeah. Ooh. Don't don't Look. take it down. <laughs> She's got to take a screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> So I uh, oh, we lived in the grounds of that. I mean, it's showing you the address, but it, well, roughly. Um, yeah. And we used to go. Um, you know the way they used to have uh, mazes and gardens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the the mazes were made out of uh, blackberry bushes. Oh. Yes, blackberry, blackberry bushes. So you you could actually climb inside. The thorns because they were on cages. Ah, oh. so and pick the blackberries from the inside to pick the blackberries from the inside. So <laughs> you could get twice as many blackberries. So you'd be inside eating them where nobody could see you, and you'd have your pot outside. So you'd be collecting them and putting them in the pot, <laughs> but then you'd go inside and eat them. And then go <laughs> you'd, you'd get all the good ones that the birds hadn't been able to peck at as well. Yeah. Exactly. The, the, yeah, it was, but you, you got scratched. You got scratched climbing through them. But as the youngest, it was my job. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> Terry, I'm just going to say, before the McDonald's arrived, I was eating fudge, so we're all eating like five-year-olds. It's fine. I'm not. I'm, not. <laughs> I'm doing a full... I was of, eating cat and crunch earlier. I'm doing a full <laughs> grown-up breakfast, which is... Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, that is that. beautiful. I'd like to go back there again. I <laughs> <have> to live in. <laughs> it's far too early on a Sunday morning to be mentioning things like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, unfortunately, I have to leave the stream for just a moment. Would it be possible to leave it in your capable hands, young ladies? Yes. Yep. I don't know where the young ladies are, but yes. That's why they're not. Hey. I thought she's not talking to me. <clears throat> Fran has got it into her head that she's a young lady. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> don't call me old and stuff, man. <laughs> it's just a number. <laughs> I may make peanut butter and toast in a minute. Oh, do you put butter on with it, Caroline? We think peanut like... butter. I mean, I don't eat peanut butter, but no. Do you know peanut butter has no butter in it? Yeah. 
It's just mashed up peanuts. It's the mm. oil from the peanuts that make the button, butter texture. Yeah. Mm. Dunno. Dunno. I was having dried peanut butter Captain Crunch last night <laughs> with my popcorn <laughs> and Rocky Road ice cream. So, yeah, Cherry, I don't partake, but I eat like I do. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. <laughs> And <laughs> TJ's just gone for to, to have her put outside. <laughs> <laughs> right now, and Carrie like, said, "Leave her sis alone." <laughs> I know. <laughs> You're a big sis. We're allowed. To, we're allowed to pick on the big sister. But as young lady, we all are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're all young. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> yep. right. hmm. We're leaving her with dead air. <laughs> no, go on, talk. I'm just looking up something. You know what? I'm shopping this. You're there's another story. <laughs> Go on, tell your there's story. A, there's another, another story about my grandfather. Whenever you'd go over, he'd always try to feed you. I mean, the man would bring everything out from the fridge and spread it on the table. Are you hungry? Have you some of this? Get you some of that? And you'd be like, no, Papa, I'm not hungry. I promise. And we think... um. Because towards the end, you know, yeah, he started talking a little bit about the war. And okay. he told us stories, you know, of, of uh, prisoners in, like, cages mm -hmm. around trees. And they were just skin and bones because they were just being starved to death. And so we figured that. That's why he always tried to feed everybody. <laughs> that it, you know, kind of traumatized him a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I, I no, no doubt, no doubt. My uncle was—he served in Vietnam. I'm back. Thank you very Welcome much. Back. Is that welcome back to my own stream? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 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 Look what Cherry said. I protect uh, my older sis. <laughs> She's the best, is she? Well, mummy, mummy tells them both off. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, Cherry, this is an interesting story. Yeah, it's so sad and sweet at the same time. It is. It's. It's. Um. And so many soldiers have come back from battle <sighs> completely screwed up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, My uncle's one of them. Yeah. Nice. Well, it was called shell shock, wasn't it? Yeah. It's now, now PTSD. Mm hmm But, um... I mean, I know a friend of mine, her husband came back, and he he's a long-acting soldier. He's, he's, he was in Northern Ireland and all that lot. Um, and he's quite high-ranking. He was, he was um, an officer at a very young age. And um, he came back from Iraq a few, well, it's quite a few years back now. But, you know, the when they... When they invaded and the statues were pulled down that time. And he came mm -hmm. back from there then and he was a completely changed man. Completely mm -hmm. changed man and it ruined his marriage. And, um, you know, he was accusing his wife of having affairs and all sorts because his head wasn't where it should be. And... And that's someone that was very experienced in war. So can you imagine what it was doing to them kids? And it was kids during World War Two and World War One. 
serving mm -hmm. on the front line. My oh, uncle yeah. had flashbacks from Vietnam and it, it was not good. Mm. Well, the silly buggers fucking lied about their ages. Yeah. Because yeah. they had a, a sense of loyalty to yeah. the country that they were serving. Yeah. So whatever country it is, they have a pride in the country that they so they want to protect and serve their country. So they would be fifteen years old and trying to grow a tash and <laughs> trying to look a little bit older so that mm. they could serve. Yeah. And sadly many of those young men never came back. Nice. Um I had a a, a major hissy fit um in work the other day. And it's like, well, your family are here. And I'm like, yeah, but what if? What if they didn't? What if they what were? What if my granddad didn't return? I wouldn't be here. My mum wouldn't be here. My kids wouldn't be here. You know, and, and that's why I believe you've got to remember everybody that passed because everybody has a family. Yeah. And that's to me. That is to me is remembrance. It's not just World War One. It's not just World War Two. It's every, every single conflict yeah. in the world that has yeah. gone on since and and before. Yeah, and before. Um, and and the thing is, you have got a son that is on active duty. May not be at this very moment in time, but he is an active soldier. He's out there fighting when he needs to fight. And one day he might not come back. Well, I hope he doesn't. I, I mean, I hope he does. But what if? You know. Mm -hmm. And that's. I mean, that's. <laughs> I was just totally against my kids joining because of all that Iraq stuff that was going on at the time when they were at that age. Where oh, I think I want to go to the army at you know sixteen, seventeen. No, 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 nothing. <laughs> no, me too. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> no chance are you going when all this is going on. No chance. Whereas, well, it's a bit calmer. Well, it's a bit calmer, maybe. <laughs> whereas I, I was brought up within the army. So I have a, a different perspective than most people. Mm. So when my son said he was joining the army. all the women in work were like yeah. oh you can't do that you can't because i had to sign him in because he was yeah. under 18 yeah uh, like, oh you can't do that you can't do that you can't do that and i was like no i can because no disrespect to shop workers no disrespect to fast food for, for mm -hmm. people he there was no prospects in liverpool no and and that is what would then he would have ended up being, mm -hmm. or on the dole, or on drugs, or in prison. Yeah. And that's where my mind went. So, because I have the different perspective, I understand that people can travel. You go to see different parts of the country that you would never have had the opportunity to see. Yeah, an He's been amazing there. education. Education, free medical and dental, <clears throat> because you got to look after your soldiers because they've got to be fit to fight if the need arises. Get a regular you need, haircut. <laughs> you, you, a regular haircut. No, he actually has to pay for that himself now. Does he? Oh. Yeah. They don't save <laughs> it up for him. No, not nowadays. Um, <laughs> and, you know, you meet you would meet people that you would never have met if you stayed yeah. in one city. Yeah. I, I've literally met people from all over this country mm. and other countries. And I thought it was, you know, I, I see it as a, a fantastic opportunity. Yeah. Uh, they were all like, oh, no, you can't do this. Oh, he's just a baby. Oh, this, oh, this, oh, this, that, the other. Yeah. I said, it. going into the army now is not like going back into the army then. No. He also went in a year younger than, so he would not have seen active service until his 18th birthday. Yeah. 
uh, uh, so I knew that. And then once he's an adult, he makes that decision himself. And he still had the chance to step out if he wanted to after he'd passed out mm. because of his age. Um, through the fog, I don't know much about soldiers. A story from my grandfather told the tale of jumping in a trench one night in the pitch black and in the morning he awoke he was sleeping next to a German soldier. Apparently they both looked at each other and shook hands. They must have talked a bit before getting out and going their way because they stayed in touch. Oh, that's fantastic. Wow. Did you, did you read um, Cherry's thing? Uh, I had a wooden picture that was sent from Fritz to my granddad uh, after the war. I'm not sure how elaborated that story got over the decades. It's quite possible. It is quite possible. Mm. Uh, Cherry, uh, I remember my great-granddad telling me about the thousand-yard stare. I never saw it re until recently. It's scary. It is. Yeah, it is very scary. Yeah. Well, Cherry, um, it's it's. It's very famous that on uh, Christmas Day in, what year was it? First World War, wasn't it? It was. Uh, the Sainsbury's Kitchen, uh, Kitchen? <laughs> Christmas. The Sainsbury's Christmas advert was all about the, the football yeah. match that they played. Yeah. Um. 1914. So 1914, the Germans and the English said, huh, let's not fight for one day. And they played a game of football. Hmm. Hello, B. Hmm. Yes, that was real. It's a true story, Terry. It's a true story. Hello, Laura. Hello, Laura. Oh, you are all waking up now, aren't you? Aye. <laughs> Some of us have been here for over an hour, if you don't mind. <laughs> no, no, it's a true story. I remember learning about it at school. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming, Laura. Hi everyone. Yeah. Took you long enough. Where you been? <coughs> Told you I'm right my shopping list. So Hen's Googling something. No, I, I'm, I'm going to read out the story. Late on Christmas Eve, 1914, men of the British Expeditionary Force heard German troops in the trenches opposite them singing carols and patriotic songs and saw lanterns and small fir trees along their trenches. Messages began to be shouted between the trenches. The following day, British and German soldiers met in no man's land and exchanged gifts, took photographs and some played impromptu games of football. They also buried casualties and repaired trenches and dugouts. After Boxing Day, meetings in no man's land dwindled out. The truce was not... Uh, <clears throat> The truce was not observed everywhere along the Western Front. Elsewhere, the fighting continued and casualties did occur on Christmas Day. Some officers were unhappy at the truce and worried that it would undermine the fighting spirit. Yeah. Uh. After 1914, the high commands on both sides tried to prevent any truces on a similar scale happening again. Despite this, there were some isolated incidents of soldiers holding brief truce, truces later in the war and not only at Christmas. It was known mm. as the Let's Live system in quiet sectors of the front line. 
brief pauses in the hostilities were sometimes tactically agreed, allowing both sides to repair their trenches and gather their dead. Wow. Dang. Yeah. Very poignant. Hmm. <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> I've just seen a hashtag. I'm, I'm, I'm it. I am completely ignoring it. <laughs> so while we're on a, a little bit of a serious note, I'm now yeah. going to change it to it's still serious and it's still related, but you've just got to see this. Uh, okay. Because when I saw it, uh, I, I really, really tried to keep my face straight. Um, because <clears throat> look at the legs on that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's my mum's mum's brother so my great uncle your, un your uncle oh yeah uh, the smaller one of the two mm -hmm. and i'm like oh could they not have got shorts to fit it also <laughs> looked also looked like the ones wearing them up to his nipples almost <laughs> it's like one size does not fit all come on <laughs> i mean i know there was a shortage of material but come on you can are they, are they navy? <laughs> they are. <laughs> I'm guessing they were. Yeah, hey, they it could be worse. Were. They could be wearing the bell bottoms. Well, yeah, I suppose they would have had to have tied them up round their necks, though, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it, but he just looks like a little lost boy, doesn't he? With yeah. his with his school shorts on and his socks up to his knees. <laughs> 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 Oh, God bless him. <laughs> oh, is he? I think he must be about nine stone ringing, sopping wet. <laughs> um, Fanta, will you stop? Hmm? Will you stop pretending that she did nothing wrong? I am watching the chats. You know she did something wrong. <laughs> no, I don't. I, I see nothing. <laughs> Jerry's an angel. <laughs> right. Fanta's got a Pinocchio nose now. No, I don't. <laughs> Can't see me. <laughs> there's there's no such thing as a hashtag on a Sunday morning. You, you know, come on. He <laughs> <laughs> is not the Jerry you are looking for. <laughs> uh, both of my boys did army cadets but that's as far as they went no i i did the as i say i did the cub scouts uh because mum was arcala and she wouldn't let me wear a brownie uniform mm -hmm. and because they were far too short for me and then i went into girl guides but that was the, the nearest thing i got to be in um in uniform although i did apply to go through the police force and got rejected uh, uh, no i passed the height part i passed the physical part i went on to do the written exam and i failed on percentages mm. oh yeah it's just something it's one of the you know you have something that you just your brain just does not want anything to do with so yeah, no how many different times people say you do it this way well this is an easier way of doing it you do it this way it's like my brain just goes nah nah not doing it go away leave me alone too much <laughs> so oh yeah i could have been a police officer with handcuffs uh-huh kinky <laughs> That's why she said with handcuffs she wanted it to sound kinky. Uh-huh. And no oh, hashtags. Whatever. 
there, there's a picture of me and I actually bought an army uniform to do that display that I was going to, I was doing yeah. in work and I was going to dress up as ATC, ATS, sorry. Uh, and I, I look like a prison warden, you know, that, um, mm-hmm. prison cell block H program. Yeah. Yep. That was me. So no, me in uniform is not a good thing. I was in brownies long enough to enroll and get my coffee making badge oh, <laughs> and then left because it was at the same time as Blake Seven and that was more fun. God, do you remember Blake Seven? TV program, Blake Seven. <laughs> um, that, that was no. Terrible. You don't remember no. Blake Seven? No, I've heard of it. I You're never just watched it. Up. You're younger than I've heard of it. I never watched it. Elizabeth, me. Uh, I was too short for everything. Well, not nowadays. No. No, no. I, I've, yeah. Um, who's that, this? This is that's one of yours? My, my eldest when he was in the cadets. So that's as close as I've got to a family member in the army nowadays. Mine yeah. play Call of Duty on Xbox. That counts. <laughs> that counts. <laughs> <laughs> Mine still plays Call of Duty on Xbox. <laughs> I don't know what mine play, but I don't I don't know. They shout a lot. That's all I know. <laughs> they shout a lot. <laughs> I do not supervise their gameplay. Yeah. So, but yeah. My my beautiful boy. He doesn't look so beautiful anymore. But my beautiful boy. <laughs> They're all beautiful. Oh, mm. everybody beautiful. Well, he would have been about 14, 15 then. Maybe even younger. They like shooting the guns. That's what they like going to the army cadets for, shooting the guns. They never did as much as Boy Scouts, so we did that. Mm. Elizabeth and me. Is that because the, the girl guides? So you did the Boy Scouts? I don't know. We did good things at girl guides. Things you can't do now. You can't even have a campfire at girl guides now. Health and safety. Really? Yeah. I'm so glad I was born when I was born, you know. Why? No. My my friend is a brownie <laughs> leader. Or oh, girl godly, one of them. I just sent a picture of me and my brownies <laughs> to Insta. Your mum was a den mother. Because they had Girl Scouts. They have Girl Scouts in America, don't they? We got Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, brownies. Yeah, I'll so go. I don't but, know if we have Girl Scouts now. But it was Boy Scouts, but I think they just call them Scouts now, don't they? And I think girls... Yeah, really I don't think there's any difference now. They're just no, I think, I think, I think like girls that. and boys mix together in Scouts, don't yeah. they? Yeah, they don't have separate groups now. Mm. I, oh, yeah. I noticed you didn't read Cherry's comment. Not Who, one. me? Him. Um, he he was He was about 13 or 14 at the time, Cherry. He is now... <laughs> 26 <laughs> but he's taken I'm afraid. he's taken he's a very handsome boy is that the eldest or the youngest yes, that's the eldest uh. you already got a ride <laughs> I don't know she'd get, she'd get on really well with, my, with him I think Probably. 
Which would get on really well with Harley, to be fair. <laughs> oh, I had that no. Barry uniform. I had that, that Barry uniform. Through, through the fog. Uh, in the brownies. Yeah. Wow. Do you know, I kept my brownie uniform up to adulthood. It used to hang on a wall in my bedroom. I suppose it still fit, didn't it? No, <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just, and you, you, say you say she's got a ride, but I've already claimed Holly, so she ain't got him at all. He's an open with me, remember? <laughs> Yeah, I was sick of my elves. You, you can have you're picking out hats, Cherry. Hang on, hang on, Terry. You can have my youngest son. I don't like his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I do was going to say I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> that as well sometimes. <laughs> oh, that is absolutely... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jerry. <laughs> that too. That too. <laughs> no, I, my dad just realised he's upset and probably had me say that. <laughs> no, he'll have his own headset on it. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, be all right. Yeah. <laughs> well, my eldest has just snuck in. Mm. Oh. I was trying to show because I showed Fanta a picture a more up to date picture of my oldest son earlier on and I was trying to find a picture of my, my younger son I, I knew we weren't <laughs> friends on Facebook I didn't know he'd blocked me from seeing anything hello? whatsoever on his face, I can't even see his profile picture hello <laughs> hello <laughs> Who, have you lost me? It's my dog to his son. No, I'm here. Oh, what's going on? Was you talking to her son? No, I'm here. Can you not hear me? Yeah. No, I can hear you. I'm oh. talking about TJ. Oh. Oh, have we lost TJ? She said her eldest had just come in. Yeah, oh. she's probably talking to him. She'll be back in a minute. Oh, okay, cool. But um, yeah, no, I wasn't. I wasn't impressed. I can't even. See, I can't see anything. I can't see. And all I know is his name. It's all I can see. It's the only <laughs> information I can see. I'm not impressed. Oh, she's falling out. Mm -hmm. It's scary oh, how how similar our youngest are. Mm. Internet, Internet went down. Went down. <laughs> That's sort we of what happened to me earlier on. That's sort of what happened to me earlier on. My Internet didn't go down. It's blown a bloody fuse. Mm. What? Uh, Terry's going for a hint. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time I've seen her do that. <laughs> 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 uh, the first time I've seen her do that, yeah. yeah are you back now? <laughs> yeah, my internet provider's like, what the fuck are you doing this for on a fucking Sunday morning? <laughs> 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 Look, well, the reason yeah. I fell out earlier on is because my son blew a fuse. Oh, right. <laughs> Sunday morning. She's not supposed to do all this on a Sunday morning. She's supposed uh, to be relaxing. I'm like, he goes, what was that? I goes, well, the lights are on and everything else is off. You've blown a fuse. What have you done? I think <laughs> I think it's the the dryer. Dryer. I've got a heated area that's up in his bedroom, drying his clothes. I goes, but it's been plugged in all night. Why is it suddenly blowing a fuse? I fell on the plug. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're wonderful, aren't they? Aren't, aren't children wonderful? I'm like, right, well, come down here and pop the shoes back up. I will, I'm busy. I've got to do something important. I goes, come down here and pop the shoes back up in the middle of a live stream. It's like, I'm doing something important. My charge, my, my extension lead hasn't got a surge protector in it. So it's unplugging everything. 
from the extension leads, you know, because his Xbox and his TV are plugged into that. I'm like, great. So, um, and then he finally came down. He goes, but none of them are down. I goes, it'll be the main one. But the lights are on. I goes, yeah, they're on a different circuit. It'll be the main one. It's the it's the actual um, surge protection one, if that makes sense. It's not the main, main one, but... Mm -hmm. And he, he flicked it. He goes, it's not. It's up. And I'm like, no. If it was up, it wouldn't be that loose. You have to pull it down and push it up. It's weird. But, yeah. No, okay. And then he got it back on, and then I came back on after the internet re-figured itself out about 10 minutes later. You know what it's like. Um. <laughs> oh, Laura, it's raining again. They say that Italy is the land of sun. Well, we've actually got quite some quite nice sunlight here. It's quite nice and dry. Hang on, let me look out my window. Hang on. I keep Hang my curtains here. shut. Elizabeth, me. Oh, water. Jealous. <laughs> <laughs> well, once last night's alcohol is out of my system. And now it's grey here. I'm going to go and find my bicycle keys. Who's going to find the bicycle keys? I am. Oh. Why what, do you, you need a, what, you might for a bike, bicycle? Your motorbike keys. Yes. Oh. And if it starts... You might go for a little jolly. I might, <gasps> go. It might only be for ten minutes, but... We're going to give it a go. <coughs> Elizabeth jealous about the rain. No. Is it very, very dry where you are? Oh, she's Cherry's back and she's brought cookies with her. <laughs> oh! And <laughs> they yeah. special cookies. Yeah, I was just going to say what kind of cookies are they? <laughs> I don't want anything so much. We appreciate the uh, offer. Uh, Caroline says it's foggy and overcast here. It's not foggy here, but it's definitely overcast. It's very grey. Mm. It's getting yeah. cold here. Well, we're in November, people. I love it. I'm not complaining. No. I'd rather it be cold than hot. I slap. Can put little more layers on when it's cold. Yeah. Liz jealous about the bike too. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not sorry. So she's I was going to say, that didn't sound very sincere. She's jealous of the rain and the bike. Oh. Mm -hmm. no. So we were, we were talking about health and safety. When? When you said we can't even have a, um, a bonfire because of health and safety. Oh, yeah. Uh, it just reminded me of another picture. So... Uh, Is it conkers? No. <laughs> you know they banned them in schools for a while, didn't they? Because of health and safety. They're, they're still banned. No, are they? I thought they. I thought they gave up on that idea. No. Mind your kids nowadays, they batter each other with them, wouldn't they? They wouldn't know what to do with them. They, they, they don't know how to play conkers. Oh, mine do. Well, I suppose mine aren't kids anymore. But I certainly taught them. And they climbed trees and built built rope swings and all that sort of palaver. They were proper, proper kids having fun, doing the things that kids should be doing and getting up to mischief. <sighs> I've eaten too much junk. <laughs> I can hear it. You feel a bit sicky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh huh. Blame, 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 Cherry. She's been encouraging you. Oh wow. That's health and safety at its best, isn't it? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. that... Does anyone else go on one of them? Yeah, mm -hmm. they used to have one at Wayburn. Uh, I think they had one at Wiki as well, didn't they? Probably. Aye. It's literally two chains on a hook. 
mm-hmm. on a seat and mm-hmm. all you've got in front of you to keep you in that seat is a little chain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you, you might be able to guess which one's me. Uh, the one in the pink? Nope. Hang on, let me bring, let me bring a screen. It's tiny, tiny picture. Let me double bigger screen it. Oh, I see ya. You're that one there. You're the the blue jeans is in front of you. You're is it a brown jumper? So oh, you're you that one. Well. Yeah, I can now. I oh, wasn't the one. I thought it was you. I thought you were the other side of the one with the blue jeans. No, no that's my yeah. sister. Ah, so the resemblance is there. Yes. Mm-hmm. But I'm the one not holding on. <laughs> <laughs> and this woman. I have no clue on. what we're looking at. It's a, it's an old fun fair ride. So uh, it's like a carousel, but instead of being on horses and attached to the floor and attached to the floor, going round and round. This is a swing carousel, so it goes round and round at quite a speed, and you are literally dangling on chains. Yeah, we had a girl thrown from one of those at our fair one time. Thanks I... for that, Infanta. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm actually sitting in the chair and I've got my arms out because I'm flying. <laughs> and everyone else is holding on. Literally everyone dear else. Dear life. Mm-hmm. Right, ladies, really sorry. I'm going to have to go. I've got a lot to do today. Well, thank shopping. you very much for being here. Um, no, it's okay. And I shall speak to you later. Oh, yeah, supermarket is yeah. Okay, thanks. Bye, everyone. No, no, it's not night. It's not night. No, no. Time, <laughs> See you later. And <laughs> as Elizabeth B says, <laughs> our friend. Physics of our friend, yeah. I, well. Hmm. I think that's a good place to end, actually, on a high note. Yes. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> Literally on a high note. <laughs> so yes, thank you very much to Laura through the fog, Elizabeth May, to Cherry, to Hen, to Fanta, to Mandy. Thank you. That's all right. Thank you for having us. I don't us. think I've missed anybody, but thank um, you all I'm for just being here for you. And thank you to no, the people who are watching. In the future. <laughs> who are watching in the future and those who are in behind the scenes and haven't yet got the confidence to come in just yet. All right. So goodbye, everybody. Have a lovely Sunday and hope to see you all soon. Bye. 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 Oh, she went. She ain't yes, the she live stream. She ain't the live stream. <laughs> oh, we're still going. Holy shit. Don't sweat it, messenger. <laughs> <laughs> it's our channel now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they <that> may. <laughs> we're stuck here. We can't leave. Hello. We can, but um, we can, but you know. Oh, we're yeah. gonna milk this. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 I know exactly two boomers. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>